Hello again. Today we're talking about another American picnic food, and also something that you can do with your leftover eggs from all the spring holidays. Today we're going to talk about the deviled egg. Now, why do you suppose they call it a deviled egg? Well, actually it's very simple. It has nothing to do with what you think it might be. It has everything to do with the spices that you put into it. Anything that's deviled, it means it's been spiced. So a deviled egg is a spiced egg. A deviled ham is a spiced ham. That's simply all that it is. Uh, that term has actually been around since the 1700s. It's been, they've used it in the United States. And deviled egg showed up pretty soon after that. So a deviled egg is something that is almost as old as the United States itself. And again, like I said before, it's super popular in the United States. There are as many egg recipes, deviled egg recipes, as there are people in the United States. Every family has their own. Today I'm going to show you my family's deviled egg recipe. But the nice thing about this one is that it's very simple. So if there's something that you really like, that you want to add in, you're really welcome to. It's very easy to do that. But this is just a plain and simple and delicious deviled egg recipe that's been working in my family for three generations. So I hope you like it. Basically what you're going to need is a bunch of eggs. And what you have to do is you have to hard boil your eggs. Uh, the hard boil is at this stage where there's already um, They've already had the shell taken off, but you can kind of squeeze it and it's going to stay firm. And there's going to be a hard yolk inside. It's very easy to hard boil an egg. All you do is put your eggs with their shells still on into a pan. Cover the eggs with just enough water just to cover the eggs. In your pan, put it on your stove. Turn your stove all the way up to the high heat and let the water come up to a boil with the eggs in there. You might want to, while you're letting the water start to boil, you might want to stir them around a little bit. Uh, and then once your water comes to a full rolling boil, which means you can see the bubbles at breaking the surface of the water in, on the entire pan, all you do, cover the pan, take it off the heat, and let it sit there for 15 minutes. That's it. After that, your, your eggs should be well cooked. Put them in cold water for 10 to 15 minutes, and then they should be cool enough that you can shell them. If you don't know how to shell an egg, you should Google it, because I bet there's lots of really fun YouTube movies out there about how to shell an egg. I'm not going to show you that today because it's long and tedious, but once you have them all shelled, you're ready to go for your deviled eggs. So, you need your eggs. In the United States, our cartons come with 12. Uh, here in Russia, they come with 10, so you're going to need somewhere between 10 to 12 eggs for a, a good size amount of deviled eggs. You're also going to want, for your filling, salt and pepper, mayo, mustard, and vinegar. That's it, that's all you're gonna need to make some delicious deviled eggs. So how do you make them? Well, the first thing that you need is your eggs. And so I've kind of cheated a little bit and we have a few of them already cut, but this is all you're gonna have to do. So just take your egg and you're gonna cut it in half the long way. So you have sort of two ways. You can cut it in half this way, that would be the short way. You wanna cut it in half the long way, it will make it better. And when you cut it in half, hopefully uh, during your cooking, you've actually been able to do this and you want to have your egg be sort of as near the center as possible. You, you can have the, the top part, but you want it to still kind of look like an egg. What you don't want is that this bottom part is so thin that when you pull this yolk out, this thing breaks, because you're going to need these cups. So don't throw these away, save them. And all you do once you've cut, got that cut in half is you just pop the, the yolk out. And it should come out cleanly. Sometimes there's a little bit of the yolk still left in there. It's not a big deal. If you're serving these to people and you want it to be super fancy, you might want to clean it out first, but if it's just for your friends and family, don't worry about it. They won't care. So again, super easy. Take your peeled, hard-boiled egg, cut it in half the long way, and then just take the yolk out and put it into another bowl and then reserve the white part of the egg because you're just going to need it here in about two minutes. Once you've done that, set those aside and then take your egg yolks. Again, I have 12 eggs here, so just this is for, the recipe is for 12, but you can, you can kind of, if you have only 10, you can, you can still, it's not a big deal. This, this is an easy recipe, don't worry about it. So, your three ingredients, your three main ingredients. First of all, you have your mayo. For every six eggs, you are going to need one quarter cup of mayonnaise. So if you have 12 eggs like I have here, I'm gonna need a half a cup. If you only have 10 eggs, just a little bit less than a half a cup. So, really easy, take your mayo, measure it out, and dump it in. This is not rocket science, people. It's pretty good though, you'll like it. So just take your mayo and put it in your cup. Then, you're going to need, for every six eggs, you're going to need one teaspoon of mustard. So since I have 12 eggs here, I'm going to use two teaspoons of mustard. 
And again, this is not an exact science. If it's a little over or a little under, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Finally, your vinegar. Now, my mother, when she makes this, she sticks to exactly one teaspoon of vinegar per every six eggs. I like my eggs a little bit zingy. I like it with a little bit more vinegar. So I'm actually going to end up putting in pretty much closer to three teaspoons than I am to two because I like that, that flavor in my eggs. If you're not that big of a fan of the vinegar or if you're just not ready for that zing, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just one teaspoon to every six eggs. That's all you have to have. If you want to, you can put in a little bit of salt. And I encourage you to put in just a little bit of pepper. But other than that, that's all you need. Three ingredients plus your egg yolks. So now you're just going to mix them up. You can start off with your spatula if you want. But uh, what we actually do in our family, a lot of times we'll use a food processor or a, blend, or a blender or a mixer. Uh, you can also alternatively just use a fork. It really just depends on how smooth you want your insides to be. The higher power, higher technical equipment that you use, the less lumps you're going to have, the lower tech you use, for example, my fork, this is going to be fairly lumpy. I personally don't mind, but if you have somebody who does, or if you have little kids who are maybe persnickety eaters, then, then you can use something else and make it a little less lumpy. But as you can see, all you're doing is just blending these ingredients in together, getting that nice yellowy color. And that's pretty much what you do. You just take that and you mash it all up. Again, you can spend as long as you want getting all those lumps out or stick it in your food processor or your blender and it'll go a lot faster. But once you have it to the consistency that you like, then it's time to fill the eggs. Okay, this can be as simple or as hard as you want it to be. You can make this super fancy. You can put your well-blended mixture into a pastry bag and have one of those tips like what you would use when you're decorating a cake and you can actually very daintily decorate these and a lot of times when you're in the states if you see this at a fancy dinner party then that's what they'll do for yourself for your afternoon picnic a simple spoon will do just as well so you take a little bit of the mixture and you want it to be just about as much as the yolk that was originally filling this and you just take your spoon and you just drop it into the egg and you just want it to be just slightly a little bit more mounded on the top and then you put that down and you move on to the next one and you do the same thing and you thought deviled eggs were going to be hard they're so easy that's all you're going to do you're going to use the rest of this filling in the rest of these eggs to make some delicious deviled eggs that's all you have to do now if you want to make them a little bit uh more a lot of things a lot of times people will add things like pickles um, you can add chopped up olives. Some people will sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top just to give them a nice sort of festive look. So uh, you can put it, add in onions. You can make a whole potato type salad where you have potatoes, onions, and this egg all chopped up together. It's completely up to you, but this is a really basic recipe that you can start out with. See how you like it and then tweak it any way that you want. That's all you have to do to make a deviled egg. This is perfect to use up all of those hard-boiled eggs that you might be using for your springtime holidays uh, and you know if you've colored them which I know they do in the United States and I've seen that they do that here in, in Russia as well you'll actually get some pretty colors on the outside of your eggs so it makes them even more festive I hope this is a recipe that you can use I hope you enjoy them let us know how it works out for you